what is going on people it is your boy daddy mac welcome back to another pokemon sword and shield team builder today we are um of course bringing a new team i almost said we're on another wi-fi battle but we are not even close to a wi-fi battle we do have a new team and it's featuring a beautiful chinese friend ball gigantamax Chi um i think i already said chinese chinese venusaur um we did have to hyper train this bad boy we got a life orb on this boy but check this out we're running chlorophyll venusaur with special attack this is uh this is thank goodness at least a good nature for this venusaur we got special attack and 252 evs and then speed we got 252 evs and this uh, Venusaur, given that it's Clairfoil, you already know we're bringing a semi-sun team. Uh, Venusaur in the sun does a whole lot of damage. And I have not used a Venusaur, if I'm being honest with you, since Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire days. When Clairfoil Mega Venusaur was a thing. Or actually, no, I that's 100% a lie because it gets thick fat. But um, here's here's the situation. I had a team where I had Mega Charizard Y with the drought ability, of course, once it Mega Evolves. I had a Venusaur. It wasn't shiny, unfortunately, but it had Chlorophyll and it was modest nature. And that thing swept a whole team. So that's why we're building against... Uh, that's why we're building for a Gigantamax Venusaur team. So I'm excited. Our first move in this, uh, t in this Venusaur is going to be Grouth. In order to get our attack or special attack up, preferably our special attack, we got Sludge Bomb for Stab, which is going to be the primary attack that we're going to click. Sleep Powder, which is going to help us set up a couple of growths. And also Pedal Dance, because once I'm ready to sweep, I'm clicking Pedal Dance, and it is game over. So I'm excited to use this bad boy here. Got Modest Nature. We got it out from a Link Trade um, over in the GTS. And I'm excited to use this Venusaur. That brings our second Pokemon in the team. Also a friend ball that I had to trade for, but I bred it myself. It is going to be a Ninetales here. Ninetales with the Heat Rock and with the Drought ability. You already know that's what we have to bring. We got 252 speed, 252 special attack. I know uh, a little Ninetales typically run 252 HP and 252 speed. This one's going to be a little bit twisty because we got the Solar Beam. And, you know, the Solar Beam is such a good move, especially on Ninetales. I don't have Solar Beam on my Venusaur because I didn't want to run double Solar Beam. Um, so that's why I have it on my Ninetales. It gets rid of those pesky water types that it's weak to as well. So we got Flamethrower, we got Extra Sensory, and we got Shadow Ball. So it's an all-out attacking. Um, uh, I almost called it a Vulpix at Ninetales. And I did think about running, um, what's the move called? The Nasty Plot, but I decided not to. I decided to make this an all-out attacker because the goal to my Ninetales is to set up the sun and switch out of there. So... That's basically why we're at Tim and Nature, of course. And the third Pokemon in this team is a Pokemon I've been wanting to use for a long time. A Pokemon that I personally fear because of its potential. It's a White Herb Cloister. So we got 252 attack, 252 speed, which is a Jolly Nature with the Skill Link ability. And of course, you already know when you bring Skill Link, you got to bring the Shell Smash. So we're going to bring in the Shell Smash uh, for this boy. I don't know if I'm saying Shell Smash or Shell Smash. I'm probably just talking really fast that I don't even know. I'm just excited about this team. We got Icicle Spear, which is going to be our primary stab attack, given that it's boosted by skilling. This is going to be a base 100 attack. Same thing with the Rock Blast, except that Rock Blast, on the other hand, has a chance to miss. I thought about running Pin Missile, but I decided to go for Dual Stab with Liquidation. Um, just in case, you never really know what situations you'll run into, and that's why I have the Liquidation on this uh, Cloister, in my opinion. Of course, uh, we already mentioned that it's Jolly Nature White Herb. So that's going to be a really beautiful sweeping Pokemon right there. I think this is the fourth Pokemon. And this is actually a good Pokemon for his Sun Team. Is the Palo Sand. We got Leftovers Palo Sand. You already know that given that it has Leftovers, it's going to be Defensive Natured. In this case, rather than Special Defense, we're going Defensive Nature. With 252 Attack and 252 Defense with the Water Compaction Ability. Now I thought to myself... We have a Sun Team, which weakens water type attacks. Why not throw our boy Palosand in here, who's weak to water, gets the water type, um, not water type attack or anything like that. I almost said water type ability, but that's not what I'm looking for. We got the ability water compaction, which boosts the defensive set sharply two stages when we're hit by a water type move. And that's really good on this Pokemon, to be honest. We got Stealth Rock, because Stealth Rock is an important... Um, 
hazard in this game we got giga drain uh giga drain for longevity shore up for longevity also it restores more hp in a sandstorm um which we're really not even going to bother setting up sand this is going to be a straight up uh sun team and what got scorching sands a brand new attack that was introduced in the isle of armor basically it works just like scald 70 base power 100 percent accuracy this user throws scorching sand at the target to attack this may also leave a target with a burn 30 percent chance i believe is the chance for this scorching sand so that makes me pretty excited now the fifth pokemon this, on this team is going to be a hit on top since we have a defensive pokemon in palo sand i decided we need an assault vest pokemon to take those uh those special hits there so that's why we got an assault vest hit on top we got 252 hp and 252 attack so even though it is designed to take special attacks i also want this thing to hit as hard as it can and we also got intimidate which is a really good ability unless your pokemon is running oblivious um which i don't see a lot of uh a lot of in this generation to be honest uh, so we got fake out um in order to get the flinch of course we got rapid spin to get rid of hazards on our end we got earthquake for coverage and we got close combat as our primary stab attack um i'm gonna try not to click clo uh, close combat so much that's mostly because it lowers our defense and special defensive stats which we're really trying to avoid i thought about running triple axle and i also thought about running triple kick which is hit on top signature attack but uh i i really want something to hit cons consistently you know as far as number one triple kick only does well it hits three times and if it hits th all three times then it's you're perfect no need to worry about it but the thing is that you can get anywhere between one or three hits and i just wanted something more consistent than that as much uh as much as i would love to run the triple kick because it just sounds fun close combat is the attack same thing went with triple axel so there was a lot of thinking when it came to this team so hopefully spoiler alert we break this losing streak so that's the goal for this now the final pokemon in this team is going to be a luxray a guts flame orb luxray of course with 252 attack and 252 speed we are running adamant nature on this uh luxray part of me wants to run the jolly nature but i really feel like luxray needs some help with the attack stat and that's why i decided to run the uh adamant nature luxray so we got play rough for those pesky fighting and uh, dragon types and everything else that um play rough you know destroys and we got superpower for coverage though we're not going to click it a whole lot i feel like at least we got crunch and we got wild charge it is our um primary step attack when it comes to this lux ray but there you have it that is going to be our team for the next uh three wi-fi battles in the term of two weeks so make sure you guys leave a like if you guys are excited about this team i am so excited about this team to be honest with you um mostly it's because we're using a lot of underrated pokemon just like lux ray I've never used a Hitmon top before or a Palisand. I've never used a Cloyster as much as I know how good this Pokemon is. Um, I've used Ninetales once and I've used Venusaur once, but I'm so excited because I'm bringing back the, the Life Orb Chlorofoil Venusaur, which I know is gonna be a mess uh, to handle. So that's gonna be it. Comment your thoughts on this team, any changes that you guys would personally make. I'm open for feedback, so just let me know. And also subscribe to my channel for Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi Battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.